Hi, my name is Brad Rosiska, Product Marketing Manager for Consumer and Communications Clocks here at Texas Instruments. Phase lock loops, or PLLs, are widely used circuits used in clock generation and distribution, however in many cases are not easily explained or understood. PLLs can be found in various system applications where an entity or data needs to be clocked. This can include DSPs, FPGAs, processors and microcontrollers, data converters, as well as certain memory subsystems and CERTES. In simple terms, a PLL is a feedback system that generates a signal that has a fixed relation to the phase of an incoming reference signal. The simplest of PLLs consists of a phase detector and a voltage-controlled oscillator, or VCO. The purpose of a phase detector is to perform a comparative evaluation of the signals applied to its two inputs. A reference frequency is fed into one input, while the output of the VCO is fed back into the second input of the phase detector. This is commonly known as the feedback loop. If the phase of the feedback input lags the phase of the reference input, the phase detector, in combination with the charge pump and low-pass filter, will output a higher DC voltage to speed up the VCO. If the reverse is true, a lower DC voltage is output to slow down the VCO. In the end, the output of the VCO will mirror the input reference signal to the phase detector. This output can be used to distribute multiple copies of clocks with the same phase and frequency, more commonly known as a zero delay PLL buffer. PLLs can also be used for clock generation. Two common types of PLLs are integer PLLs and fractional PLLs. These PLLs can include additional functional blocks called the reference divider and feedback divider. The variable R in the reference divider is a programmable parameter and is sometimes known as a prescaler. Once set, the reference divider divides the signal represented on the reference input with this programmable value. The variable N in the feedback divider is also a programmable parameter and is sometimes known as the N counter or divider. For integer PLLs, the value of n is set as an integer value. For fractional PLLs, the value of n can be a non-integer value. The relationship between the values of r and n has a direct impact on the output frequency of the VCO in the PLL circuit. Simply put, the output frequency is equal to n divided by r multiplied by the reference input. When providing different values of r and n, Output frequencies can be generated that either are integer or fractional variations of the reference input. For more information on TI's family of clocks and timers devices, please visit www.ti.com/clocks. Thanks for watching.